Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I wanted to show you my recipe for making horchata. You've probably heard of it before, but if you've never had it, you might not know what it is. And it is a traditional um, drink in Mexican culture using rice and cinnamon. And it's very, very good, very delicious and refreshing. My husband is nodding yes while I'm telling you this. Um, so it's very good. Now, my recipe is my recipe, not exactly authentic, which you might have figured out. I don't do a lot of things exactly authentic but it does have its basis in an authentic horchata mix. So overnight, what I did was I took a cup of rice, two um, cinnamon sticks, the full sticks, and half of a vanilla bean split down the middle, and I soaked it in four cups of hot water. I just left that on my counter overnight. That's perfectly fine to do. Um, and then I'm going to just pour everything into my blender here. You definitely need this to soak overnight. You don't want to take just fresh uh, rice kernels and put it in your blender. So you definitely want to give it that soak time. And if you do it with the hot water, then that will help to kind of get it going in the direction we need it to go. So we've got that. And then I'm also going to add half a cup of sugar. Now you can add more sugar if you like it sweeter, but I would definitely start with just a half a cup there. Also, um, some of the variations that you'll find out there, the um, sweetener varies. So some people like to use maple syrup. I'm not a big fan of that taste in anything but pancakes personally. Um, something that you could use as well would be agave nectar. That would be something I'd recommend if you're looking for something that's more of a syrup that you want to add to it. So, got all that in my blender here, and we'll give that a little blend, well, maybe we will. <laughs> that a second to calm down. It's a new blender, so I'm not quite used to it yet. If you don't have a vanilla bean, um, just use two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I know most people don't have vanilla beans hanging around the house, so. Um, even though I pulled this up here, that's not what we're gonna use yet. So over my bowl here, I just have a mesh strainer because you, of course, want to strain this because of all of that. You really don't want to drink all of that. Wouldn't be pleasant. So just really getting the water from that and just give it a little bit of a push through just to make sure you're getting all of the liquid, but that pretty much took care of it for us. So you're just going to put that aside. You're just going to discard that. So this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but we can see the vanilla bean flex in there. And then this is just gonna go in my pitcher. And I'm gonna add a cup and a half of coconut milk. Now the milk is also something that you will find that varies from recipe to recipe. I like the coconut milk. I think it gives it a really nice, refreshing, and slightly coconutty flavor. But if you prefer to use something else, almond milk would be great for it, soy milk or regular milk, anything you'd want. Um, this tastes almost like rice pudding, like a very like thin rice pudding drink. It's very, very good. So I hope you try it and like it.